So hey you guys, this is Dion and I'm with the Turquoise Iris and or otherwise known as the Turquoise Iris and I'm back again and I'm going to start on a new piece of furniture that I wanted to share with you guys and um, I thought we might go through a little bit step by step. The last tutorial that I kind of did, I just threw together at the last minute and it went off really, really well and I want to appreciate and thank all of you for purchasing it. I know it's only $10, but still, it was awfully kind of you, and I hope that you really learned something. Um, some of you have actually been sending me pictures of pieces that you have finished after you watched the tutorial. That's awesome, and thank you for sharing. So this piece is an old, outdated armoire, and you know, none of us want these anymore, it seems like. Um, not the average to low-end pieces. Now, the high-end armoires, the crazy beautiful wood, yes, we still want those. But this is the kind that you get for not very much at a thrift store, and I wanna give it a new look. Um, it's got these inset, it has um, three sets of panels, and I can show you the piece at the top later on in the tutorial. Um, but it's kind of, it's gonna, it's kinda of got a funky look. It's more of a 1940s Art Deco look. So I thought with the lines of this piece, we could really do something fun with it. So I've got some ideas planned. I'm using the DIY paint from Debbie's Design Diary, and I'm gonna layer some colors, and I even have Queen Bee over there. And if you are familiar, that's yellow, that's mustard. I'm going with it. It's gonna be an awesome accent color. So we can't be color shy hanging out here with me. Um, I'm basically going to um, start, I think with the cowboy coral. I don't even know. I mean, here I am starting and I still haven't started. So this is just what I do. I throw the paint on and I make my decisions as I go. So I appreciate you being here and we're gonna get started. So I went with coral. Guys, this is just one coat of the cowboy coral. And I just put it on this little section right here so I could show you. I just put one coat on it. Um, and I used a brush this time. Sometimes I roll it on. Um, but this I just used a brush really quickly. It's one coat and it's drying and it's the cowboy coral. And so we will get to the next step. Now I've done the other side. So I've got this whole bottom piece and one coat of the cowboy coral. The next thing I'm going to do is it's just about dry and all I did was brush it on, but I'm going to go ahead and spray it with some water, you guys. I'm going to loosen it all back up and soften it all a little bit. And the water bottle has to work for it to work, right? Oh my gosh. My goodness. This water bottle. I tell you, it has seen its spraying days. Guys, I'm just doing it at the top and I'm just letting the water drip down. I'm softening it back up. Oh my gosh, I'm about to dump this bottle on it. So the water is just to soften it so we can blend a little bit. tight. Hang tight. What does that even mean? Hang tight? Like hang loose? I don't know. I guess it's better to hang loose. I don't know. You guys, look at us. We're back in the game. We've got another sprayed bottle. I don't need that old silly old Windex thing. All right, you guys. New spray bottle. New thing of water. I'm gonna let this drip. Yes, we are. We're gonna grab this Bohemian Blue. Guys, always remember it gets worse before it gets better, so don't start looking at me like I'm totally crazy. A 
Oh, yes, I did. So quick recap, I've added this Atami printed paper, which is kind of a Mexican inspired, it's very traditional, but it's very big right now in interiors. Um, I've done it several times before, so if you haven't seen this print that I've used before, it is not going to be this bright white. We're going to put a stain over it, we're going to sand it, it's going to be very dull. I want this piece to look like it could be 100 years old, okay? So to recap. I, this is the cowboy coral. I put um, the bohemian blue, I believe, or bohemian teal. What's it called? Yeah, bohemian blue. Okay, put that on there. I washed it because I am going to sand it. So there are areas that I'm going to sand that I want the teal to come through. Um, and of course, I'm layering paint. So you're actually going to see very little of this coral because I'm going to put at least two more colors here. So I got this base coat on. Then I'm going to go ahead and do this entire side, start to finish, in this tutorial so you can see the before and you can see what I'm going after here. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab that Bohemian Blue. We're going to put a little bit more of it um, on the edges first. Spray bottle. And I don't care if this paper gets wet, guys. Do not worry about getting this paper wet. Just don't, you know, don't dampen it to where it's fully saturated. But don't worry about getting the paper wet. Okay. Actually, there it is. You guys, my ultimate goal is to not bore you and to actually teach you something. So as you can see, I'm running out of daylight. So I'm going to get a little bit more of this tool. And I'm going to put it along these edges here. I'm going to put it in this crease here. Guys, don't worry about it being perfect. You're going to sand. You're going to blend. I'm going to actually go inside right here. I don't care that it's on my paper because essentially the goal is to keep it from actually looking like paper. I want it to look like it was hand painted. So once I'm done and sanded this paper and took away all the brightness and the sheen of it, guys, this paper is from, um, oh gosh. the other day 
I posted that I had to make a small announcement. I posted this on Facebook and it's hysterical. The reaction that I got from you guys. I had someone ask if I was pregnant. I had someone, and I said a little announcement. And then I did a hashtag, um, art related. I had someone ask if I was getting a TV show and I was standing in front of this old house. I was trespassing with my sister-in-law while she was taking my picture. You guys, I just have a standing walk and I'm just sanding this paper. I'm just taking the shininess off of it and um, not making it so bright. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, I had two people get on there and someone says, are you pregnant? Are you this? Are you that? And I'm thinking, oh my God, that would be a big announcement. And I said I was making a little announcement. So my friend who I've had since high school texted me, she goes, what's your big announcement? And I'm like, no, it's not a big announcement. But I got to come up with something now. I don't even know what to say. So guys, I'm just going to keep sanding this. And this block has seen its day. Um, so I'm like, I don't know, I'm going to come up with something now because what I was going to say is they're all going to be disappointed with this, my little mini announcement. And so... I'm taking this palette knife, I'm dipping it, and I'm going to do it in the edges. Guys, there's nothing to this. There's no right or wrong. You can see I'm getting paint on the paper over the stain. And I use a stain from CC Caldwell's called Savannah Praline. It takes the brightness out of pink, has a green tint to it, and it is exactly this worn look that I'm after. Okay? So look, I have this Bohemian Blue. I'll put it on with this. Don't panic. Just a snitch, okay? Look. Look. Okay. We're not going for a new look here. We're not. We're not going for a new look. use too much water because obviously I don't want my paper to bubble up, but just a smidge. Let me give you a closer look. Okay, guys, you may look at that and think, God, what? So now that I have this little section done, I finished this tutorial and showed you step by step kind of how I did it. I now have to do the entire arm wall just like it. Stay tuned for the finished photos. You guys, if you have any questions, just ask. Okay, guys, so I know this is out of order, but I wanted to show you this yellow. For some reason, the video I made clipped didn't put the clip in um, where I added the yellow. Guys, I did my palette knife. I told you there would be mustard. I told you there would be. So I'm making it coming closer. Guys, it's not much, but it's just enough to have a highlight. So that was my little PS note at the end of this video, at the end of this tutorial. I can't wait to show you the finished pictures, you guys. Thank you so much.